Oh, kids, you know my next guest is the host of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Please welcome the always lively Andy Cohen. Thanks for having me. You have time to do anything with all the things you do. You squeezed us into your schedule. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, uh, one of the things I love talking to you about is you're, you're an open book. Your life, I am an open you book. share everything. Matter of fact, TMI. Just, like, you actually, uh, this is your, your book, uh, Superficial More, Advan More Adventures from the Andy Cohen Diaries, right there. Just came out in uh, Softback today, yes. tomorrow, yesterday. Yesterday. Like yesterday. Yesterday. Paperback, yes. Fantastic. It's a great beach read. Are Steven. you? Great beach read. Yeah. Because if it gets wet, you can just wring it out. It's fantastic. Well, that's not why it's a great beach read. But are you still keeping a diary? You know, I'm not. It became, that's two years in my life, and it just became existentially exhausting. Well, did you only every... diary for those two years? I did it for a year before that, too. It was okay. my second book of diaries. But I actually had the occasion to have tea with the Queen of Soul last month, Aretha Franklin, and wow. I was like, I think I might need to start writing another book. So I did well, how does, how write that down. How you invited to tea? She I've summoned never been, me to I've tea. Never been she invited summoned to have me to tea, tea with Aretha Franklin. I know, and or I Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I anyone? Know. Well, that sounds. Uh, I I think she really wanted to pry me for information about the Atlanta Housewives. If truth be told, uh, but it was. What did a you great... think? What did you think was going to happen? You guys were. Well, doing... I thought she wanted to collaborate with me on something. Do a, yes. do a duet. But the amazing thing was, at the end of the conversation, she said uh, we hung out for about forty minutes, and she said, "Well, let me get." Your number. And I said, great. And she put my number in her phone as Mr. Cohen slash housewives. <laughs> which was so great because it's like, like if I met you at a bar yeah. and you were, and I was like, oh man, this guy, I, well, let me get your number. I would put like Stephen Waspy Southerner. So it's the, you know, so I am Mr. Cohen housewives to Aretha Franklin. I like it. When she like booty texts me later. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Andy, yeah. you up? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> no, you're you you produce every how many shows do you produce? A lot. Like, how, do a lot it, of housewives, my own, watch what happens live, yeah. Andy Cohen then and now. Yeah. I'm an EP on Love Connection on Fox. Wow, well, which you're also the host yes, of. Yes, exactly. Now, also host of yeah. now. As just a not politically, but just as a a producer of reality television. Yeah. What do you think of the production that we're getting out of the White House? What do you think well, of it's, that as a drama? Well, I think well, it's, it's, it's some kind of a drama. And I think what's interesting about the president is that he's, he has remained as a season one Real Housewife of Orange County. He's never, usually they evolve as the years go. And there's a season one version who will do anything to stay on the show. And then they evolve and they get their makeup and their hair right. And then they, we say, look, you have to watch Watch what you're doing on Twitter, like you're you're being crazy on Twitter, and then season two they're better. But he's stuck in the season one housewife book, and he has a Real Housewife tagline. Wait, hold on. What? Wait, wait. He came up with, I mean, he's had many, but he came up with, I think, what was a really good housewife tagline in that interview he did to Time Magazine um, uh, about two months ago, and it was, can I stand and sure, do sure, it? Sure, okay. Sure. Um, it was. Uh, Things can't be that bad. I'm president, and you're not. I mean, that's a good so, Housewives tag. Yeah. yeah, that's a tag for the promo right yeah. there. Oh, I'd exactly. watch that. I'd watch yeah. that. Yeah, I'd watch that show, line. and yeah. I do. Yes, and I do watch I know. that yeah, show. Yeah, we all do. So you know what he needs? He needs an Andy Cohen. Yeah. Yeah. He go does. in there. Yes. <laughs> Straighten that place Just up. Just what I want to do. <laughs> Okay, now uh, you, I found out today, you used to host the Miss Universe pageant. So you, I did. I you hosted a few pageants him. for him. Okay, uh, what was that like? It was, um, it was fine. Uh, it came to the point. No, I actually loved hosting the pageants. Did he ever fun. come into your dressing room backstage? He, right he, now? Uh, light groping. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, he, uh, he, you know, it got to the point where they were bringing the pageant to Moscow, Miss Universe. And uh, that's the dossier, right? That's the exactly. Dossier, yeah. And I emailed the head of the organization and I said, Listen, 
you realize that all the people involved in the pageant who aren't the women are gay dudes. And you are bringing all these gay guys to Russia where Putin had just passed a lot of anti-gay legislation. I said, I think this is wrong, and I think you should reconsider. And for me to host the show and do a travelogue about how great Moscow is, that seems a little weird. Uh, and so they didn't move it, and I said, okay, I'm not gonna do it, and word got out that I wasn't gonna do it, and I was like boycotting this pageant. And so he called the post and said, oh no, we never offered him the job. We never. Oh, what a tool. <laughs> So. But, I mean, now I know why it was so urgent to do the pageant in Moscow. Yeah, I get know, over there. I know. Okay, so love connection. Let's yes. talk about this. The, so the, the Chuck Woolery classic from 1983. Yes. You're now the host of the Love Connection. Yeah. Anything different about it? In the so arena. much. Uh, we have them uh, rate each other's looks based on first impressions at the beginning of the date, and then I reveal the scores in the to studio. To each other yes. at the end? It's amazing, yeah. It's amazing. Do the and scores go up or down? Like, are there, well, you, are they, no, they re-rate? So they re Well, they could re Usually what happens is, as they get to know each other, they either stand by their score, or they're like, you know what, I gave you a three, but as it turns out, you're a great person, and now I think you're a 10. That's kind of the goal. Sure. Um, um, but, uh, and then also there's a little bit of a love or money twist at the end of every episode. Love where, or money? Yeah, it's like where, uh, you know, if the audience picks someone different than my love connection, I, and they're standing over there, I can go on a, on a sexy overnight date with my love connection, Steven, or I can choose the audience pick and get $10,000. So if I like Sandra, but the audience picked Sarah. Yes. And, and wait, are Sandra and Sarah there? Yes. And they know, yes. Sandra knows I picked Sandra, but how much money? 10 grand. 10, that's a lot of, that's a lot of green, that's baby right. doll. And, and $10,000 if I go, no, Sandra, yes, Sarah. Yes. But then Sarah knows that she wasn't my choice and I'm only doing it for the cash. I know. <laughs> I'll watch it. Steven. Love Connection airs Thursdays on Fox. Andy Cohen, everybody, we'll be right back with The Daily Show's Jordan Klepper, stick around.